All right, and welcome to episode two of Journey of Wrestling, my AEW save. Uh, the first time we went over the roster, we went over a lot of things in game. I made some signings. Uh, I think we only did one one show. I think we did our uh, AEW Rampage. Uh, we are on to uh, ROH, which is the last show of our week. Uh, we have three ROH shows until Supercard of Honor, which is our next uh, big pay-per-view. Um, I'm going to try to sim all the way through the pay-per-view on this one. Uh, we'll see how long it takes. I think I should be able to move through it pretty quickly because I have... Everything structured and written down the way that I want it. I just got to play it out in the game. And I, I honestly don't think it'll take too long. Um, if I get distracted at any point during this video, I've got the, the Chicago Bulls Miami Heat game on. I'm a Bulls fan. Um, it's a close game right now in the second half. So I'm going to try to pay attention to this as much as I can, but I'm going to be a little bit distracted as I go to. Um, so... Last time, I actually screwed up. I was in a bit of a hurry uh, trying to get a show in and to keep us to about an hour last time. And I skipped over my second scheduled show and went straight to my third. So even though this is my third scheduled show, I'm actually going to be running it as my second as far as like how I'm keeping track of this. So we don't have anything new uh, in our dashboard. Everything stays the same. So we're just going to go ahead and book the show. Uh, the, the main event of this show is uh, the AEW TNT title feud between Eddie Kingston and Adam Cole. Um, let's see if I can find it. It's probably going to be down here a little bit. Yep. It's a pretty hot feud. Uh, for only We've only run one segment. It's already at 81. Um, let's look at our available feuds. I think we ran a fight last time. So maybe we'll do a backstage confrontation this time to get things started. Okay. And that takes us to the ROH television title, Powerhouse Hobbs versus Pac. Let's see if I can find it. All right. What did we run? We did a tense pull apart. Uh, let's go ahead and do off camera assault. This one and our next one is going to be for the AEW women's title. This will be Mercedes Vernado and Serena Deeb. I think this is going to be down towards the bottom, if I remember correctly. Yep. No, Mercedes Martinez, Thunder Rosa. That's the wrong feud. Mercedes Vernado, Serena Deeb. There we go. Uh, what did we run with this one last time? We did a surprise attack. Uh, this time we're going to do after match save. All right, that does it for our. Oh no, we have one more title feud on the show. Uh, for the ROH tag titles, FTR versus Meta of the Year. And let's see if I can find that one. This is a pretty hot feud. Okay, Men of the Year versus FTR. We did After Match Attack. Uh, this should be... Uh, Off-Camera Assault, we've already done. Stare Down. Let's do Force to Retreat. And I forgot, I want to add a producer to this one. 
It's a main event. I want producer focus on it. Actually, I'm going to remove producer focus from that. I want producer focus on the AEW women's title feud. And I'm going to make that the main event. Um, it's not it's not our hottest feud right now, but I really want to push that feud. Uh, that is our last title feud. Uh, we have Jonathan Gresham and Daniel Bryan. Uh, this feud is off to a terrible start. It's because I just ran this feud, but I had an injury revenge angle. And I don't know whether... I don't know whether to continue this feud or just blow it off. Um, we're going to have to go big. We, we, did ep we did an epic brawl? Okay. Uh, we could do we could do a blow off, but then I'd have to start another feud because I do have the scheduled for the pay per view. So let's do car destruction. We're gonna take this one straight to ten. People's cars getting fucked up. Uh, all right, Sammy Guevara versus Danhausen. Let's see, where are we at? There it is. Sammy Guevara versus Dan Housen. We did a backstage attack last time. Uh, after match save, I think, would be good. I don't think we've done that one, right? No, we did. That was our main event. Shit. Uh, surprise attack. Let's do surprise attack. We'll have Guevara attack Danhausen. Uh, we got the Lucha Bros against the Ass Boys. Let's see. Lucha Bros. Lucha Bros. Ass Boys. This is, this is not off to a great start either. Uh, we did off-camera assault. Let's just set him up for a fight this time. That's an easy one. It's usually pretty effective. Let's just hop right into that. Uh, Miro versus Dalton Castle. Disrespect feud. That one's off to a pretty hot start, too. Um, we must have started this one off with a repeatable. Uh, do we have a backstage confrontation yet? Yes, we do. We do not have a stare down. So let's do stare down. Um... Mio Yamashita versus Nyla Rose. I don't even remember setting up this feud. But it looks like it's pretty hot. Mio Yamashita and Nyla Rose, yeah. Uh, what did we do? We did a promo ambush. Let's do a spouse attack. I like that. That's one we don't run a lot. So I don't want too many domestic violence uh, angles, but when it when it comes to women's wrestlers, I think we could use that <clears throat> a little bit more freely. We could have you know women's wrestlers beating up another woman's husband. That's a little bit less. Um, gross to me than having, you know, a male wrestler beat up another male wrestler spouse. 
Uh, MJF Darby Allen is our last viewed. And I think it's a pretty hot one, too, yes. Um, let's see. Let's do... Let's do Unlikely Partners. It's a good way to get this feud going. Alright. Unlikely Partners, Spouse Attack, Stare Down, Fight, Surprise Attack, Car Destruction, Forced Retreat, Backstage Confrontation, Off-Camera Assault, Aftermatch Save. So there's no repeats. We are ready to just go ahead and run this show. Unlikely partners, 100% effective. Darby Allen and MJF are fighting against each other here as the owner comes out to stop them. The owner makes them partners in a tag match. They almost have the match won when MJF turns on Darby Allen and they end up losing the match. All right, that's a good start, 100% effective. Oops, I do not want to... Oh, I fucked up now. I want to get this off the screen, but I have... I have something in the way. I can't click on it. Oh, this is a disaster. This is a disaster. So you you think that there's, there's an X like probably right over here where my mouse is. But my screen recording this video is also right there. And I don't know what to do. Um, there we go. Okay. Um... All right, I'm going to go back into the screen of Xbox Social, and I'm going to move this little capture status up here. Okay, that's much better. Holy shit. Sorry you had to see that. All right. Um, spouse attack. Nyla Rose is the heel. Miyu Yamashita is the face. So Nyla Rose is definitely committing the attack. Mio Yamashita is in the ring with her spouse when Nyla Rose knocks out Mio Yamashita from behind and then attacks her spouse. Mio Yamashita crawls to her spouse as Nyla Rose walks away. So, this was only 65% effective, which is a little bit surprising considering like this was a kind of a hot feud coming into this. So, I don't know I don't know why that didn't work. Uh, stare down, 100% effective. Um, let's see, Miro is in the ring cutting a promo when Dalton Castle's music hits. Dalton Castle comes face to face with Miro and they have an intense stare down. Uh, let's see, it's a hot feud between Dalton Castle and Miro. And we have a 100% effective fight between the Ass Boys and the Lucha Bros. A camera crew is live with a fight between the Ass Boys and Lucha Brothers. They went through an intense brawl outside the arena with a bunch of cheering fans. Alright, 100% effective. Very nice. Uh, surprise attack. Definitely going to be Guevara uh, attacking Danhausen. 100% effective. We're in the ring waiting to hear from a super superstar. Danhausen is talking on the mic when Sammy Guevara sneaks in from behind to attack him. Sammy Guevara beats down Danhausen and leaves him laying in the ring. And Sammy Guevara is over with the fans. That is what I wanted to get out of this feud. I want I wanted to get Sammy Guevara over. Uh, Danhausen, you see, is already over. Uh, very charismatic, not a super great worker. Um, Sammy Guevara is a pretty good worker and a pretty good uh, in charisma, if I get him over, those are at least going to be boosted to three stars each. And I can maybe give him a little bit of a push up the card. So I'm very happy with that outcome. All right. Car destruction. I don't know how this is going to land. This might be my worst performing segment. 
This is not a very hot feud. Uh, let's see. Danielson's neutral. Gresham's the face. So we're going to have Danielson destroying Gresham's car. It's 100% effective. So this isn't... This isn't like a super hot feud, but everything's working well, so I'm going to continue with it. That's our best segment so far of the show. Uh, the camera crew is in the parking lot. Brian Danielson appeared, standing in front of Jonathan Gresham's car, but just before destroying it with a baseball bat. All right, that works for me. Uh, forced to retreat. Uh, we want FTR forcing men of the year to retreat, right? 100% effective. Men of the year and FTR are in the ring talking. They say some insulting things to each other. A fight breaks out. FTR have men of the year ready for their finisher, but men of the year are able to escape from the ring. 100% effective. So we're, we're doing really everything we can to build these uh, feuds so far. Everything's going pretty well. The only kind of confusing one is the Nyla Rose, Mio Yamashita. Uh, backstage confrontation. Um, it's going to be Eddie Kingston doing an interview. Cole's going to confront him. And 100% effective. Uh, we are backstage for a scheduled interview. Eddie Kingston is talking to the interview interviewer when Adam Cole interrupts him. They get aggressive with each other before officials come in between. Uh, no updates from that, but everything went well. Uh, powerhouse Hobbs and Pac. Uh, Off-camera assault. This is definitely going to be Hobbs assaulting Pac. And it's 100% effective. We have a camera backstage with an incident. Pac is lying on the floor, battered and bloody. Powerhouse Hobbs is seen walking away in the corner of the frame. Uh, no updates, but everything's going as planned. And our main event of the night, after match save. Uh, it's going to be Mercedes Vernado with the save. And this is 100% effective. Uh, the match is over. Serena Deeb is attacking her opponent when Mercedes Vernado's music hits. Mercedes Vernado charges down to the ring as Serena Deeb retreats. Uh, okay, Serena Deeb is starting to get over with the fans. I'd like to see that. I, I actually really like Serena Deeb. She's a very good worker. Uh, Charisma's all passable, so like, there's a chance... If she gets over, she's going to have four stars in work rate and three stars in charisma, which is a very good performer. Um, Varnado is just on a different level. Just on a different level. So that was a pretty solid show. We only had one that kind of went off the rails, but it was still pretty good. Uh, we picked up 44,000 fans had the strongest show out of all of our competitors. So I'm happy with that. All right. AEW Dynamite. Two shows until Supercard of Honor. Let's go ahead and book this thing. Uh, our main event tonight is CM Punk versus Will Ospreay. Where is it? There we go. This is going to get producer focus. All right. What have we had so far? Backstage confrontation in a fight. So how about an off-camera assault to set up our main event? All right. Uh, next feud... It is Kingston and Adam Cole again. There you go, Eddie, Adam Cole and Eddie Kingston. That is a feud that's picking up steam. Uh, let's see, we had a backstage confrontation. 
Did I just do off-camera assault? I did. That would have been another good one to do. But let's do... Let's do fight tease. Oh, the bulls are hanging in this game. Um, okay. Uh, Powerhouse Hobbs and Pac are back up. This is a pretty hot few, too, I think. Uh, maybe not. Powerhouse Hobbs few. Okay, there we go. We had an off-camera assault. Uh, I just did fight tease. We had a tense pull apart. Let's do force to retreat. All right, our next up is Jade Cargill in Hikaru Shida for the TBS title. That is a hot feud. We did off-camera assault and after-match save. Let's do an interview attack. All right, we have Gresham and Danielson again. Uh, what did we do last time with them? Oh, we did car destruction. Uh, how about Bast Attacker? Alright, that works for me. Uh, Guevara and Danhausen again. A lot of these are being run back to back because I flipped those shows on accident earlier. Usually I split these up a little bit better. Uh, there we go. Danhausen, Guevara. Uh, we had a surprise attack and a backstage attack. Is there a force to retreat available? Nope, we've already run it. Uh, what about after match save? Yeah, let's do that. After match save. I want Danhausen gaining a little bit of ground back. Uh, Lucha Bros and the Ass Boys are up again. Where are you at? Lucha Bros, Ass Boys. Where is it? There we go. Uh, off camera assault. Interview attack, I think would be good. We've already done that. How about backstage attack? Let's continue the attack theme. I just want the ass boys really pissing off the Lucha Bros. Uh, Miro, Dalton Castle, back up. Let's see what we got. We did a stare down, and I think that's all we have so far. So how about a tense pull apart? Let's continue um, along the lines here of these two just continuing to get down into like stare downs and confrontations. Nothing's gotten physical yet. Oh, but it will. Uh, Yamashita and Nyla Rose are back up. It's kind of annoying that I screwed this up and now I'm running like all of these back to back feuds. Uh, but it's it's going to solve itself after this show. Um, I'm a little bit confused of what I already ran and what I haven't. Um, I, I think I ran an after match save. So after match attack should be open. Yes, after match attack. 
It's going to be Rose attacking Gamashita after a match. Um, I definitely skipped over something. Because I have two... I have two spots open, but I only have one thing scheduled left for this show. So what did I do wrong? Oh boy. I very much have confused myself here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine, ten for the next show. Okay. Um, I screwed something up, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna have to add a segment somewhere in here. Because the only thing I have left scheduled for this show is MJF Darby Allen. Uh, did I pass it already? No. All oh, right, I, I don't think this feud's performing as well as I thought it was. Yeah, MGF Darby Allen. Uh, we've had a stare down. Uh, standing tall might be good. Yeah, let's do standing tall. Okay. How about... I don't want a feud package. I just want, like... Production. Video package, feud package, event package, main event package, recap, championship package, debut, new gimmick, return, career, day in the life. Uh, do I have, to, I have to select a super... Oops. Oops. There we go. Um, now i got to re-select that. I need one participant right for a day in a life. Yeah. Um... Let's do a Chris Jericho day in the life. Kick off the show. All right. Oh, you know what? I I didn't screw this up. For some reason, I've got eleven shows scheduled on here instead of ten. So I got everything into this that I needed to. For some reason, I just had eleven shows available. I I honestly don't know why that is. Uh, we're ready to play this though. Day in the life of Chris Jericho is 90% effective. Uh, video package airs and focused on Chris Jericho spending the day and night camping in the woods. That's fine. That's all we needed it to do. Uh, standing tall. Darby Allen's going to be standing tall against MJF. 100% effective. Darby Allen and MJF are talking to each other in the ring. It gets hostile. They start brawling. Dobby Allen gets the upper hand and hits his finisher on MJF to stand tall. And this is now a hot segment. Uh, after match attack, Nyla Rose. Uh, we just finished our last match. Miyu Yamashita is going to leave after a match when Nyla Rose attacks her from behind. Nyla lays Miyu Yamashita out and exits the ring. 100% effective. 
Uh, Mio Yamashita is starting to get over with the fans. I like to see that. We need to build up as many um, women's wrestlers as possible. That's kind of the weakness of the roster right now. We have plenty of good men. We need to build up the women's division. So getting Serena Deeb over would be big. Getting Miu Yamashita over would be big. Uh, we got Soraya and Lady Frost coming in who could hopefully add some depth. I would like to at some point even add like a women's tag division. Um, but there, there's some work to do still. Uh, let's see. Dalton Castle and Miro are out talking in the ring. Things are getting intense between them. They start fighting. Officials run in to pull them apart, but they can barely contain the two. 100% effective. Uh, it's a hot segment, so it gets a bit of a boost. Uh, backstage attacked. Ass boys. Uh, those dastardly ass boys, as Dan Housen would say. Uh, the ass boys are seen walking into Lucha Brothers locker room. A scuffle is heard as cameras rush in to see. The Ass Boys are beating the hell out of the Lucha Brothers. 100% effective. 100% effective. Very nice. Uh, Danhausen and Sammy Guevara after match save. Danhausen's going to make the save. The match is over. Sa Sammy Guevara is attacking his opponent when Danhausen's music hits. Danhausen charges down to the ring as Sammy Guevara retreats. That, that feud's playing out pretty well. It's doing everything I needed to. Uh, masked Attacker. Uh, Gresham is still face, so it's going to be Brian Danielson that making the attack. Jonathan Gresham walked down the ramp for a scheduled match when a masked attack, when a masked person attacked him from behind. Could it be Brian Danielson? I mean, these segments, it's not a hot feud, but these segments are working really well. Uh, interview attack. Cargill is going to be the attacker. We're backstage with an interview. Hikaru Shida is talking when Jade Cargill ambushes her from behind. Jade Cargill continues the attack until officials are able to force her away. And it's a hot segment. Very, very good. Uh, forced to retreat. We want Pac forcing Powerhouse Hobbs to retreat. Uh, Powerhouse Hobbs and Pac are in the ring talking. They say some insulting things to each other. A fight breaks out. Pac gets Powerhouse Hobbs ready. Pac has Powerhouse Hobbs ready for his finisher, but Powerhouse Hobbs is able to escape from the ring. Uh, it's another hot segment. This has been a really strong show. Uh, Kingston and Cole fight tease. Um, it's probably going to be Cole teasing the fight, right? Yeah, he's the heel. Hundred percent effective. Eddie Kingston and Adam Cole are talking in the ring. Tensions are getting high. Adam Cole teases a fight, but backs out of the ring at the last minute. No updates, but a very solid segment. And the main event, an off-camera assault. It's going to be Will Ospreay assaulting CM Punk. 100% effective. We have a camera backstage with an incident. CM Punk is lying on the floor, battered and bloodied. Will Ospreay is seen walking away in the corner of the frame. Hot segment. Love to see it. All right, it is the fourth quarter of this basketball game. The Bulls are up six. I'm trying not to get too sucked into this game because I know that, like, whoever wins this game is ultimately just going to go get shellacked by Milwaukee in the first round. But it's still, it's hard not to root for the Bulls. I'm still a Bulls fan. Uh, very solid show. Uh, we were about even with New Japan. We picked up a lot of fans, though, because Monday Night Raw had a, had, had a pretty weak show, but not miserable. 
All the shows were pretty strong across the board. Okay, AEW Rampage. It is Daniel Garcia and Rocky Romero. That is our main event feud. Daniel Garcia and Rocky Romero. And we're going to add producer focus to this one. What have we done with this feud? A fight tease and a forced retreat. So let's go ahead and have a surprise attack. Okay. Let's go Tony Storm and Anna J. I think this one's down towards the bottom, if I remember correctly. Yep. If we've really not run a segment with this yet oh no 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 okay all right i don't know exactly what to do with this but you see like two of these uh the anna j tony storm uh, maybe it's the only one left anyway yeah there's two right here so I picked the wrong one with one of these feuds that I was I was doing. Um, it created two feuds, and I don't know why. Uh, this is the feud that I want to run, so we'll pick that one. Uh, we've had an off-camera assault. So how about a backstage confrontation? So, hey, you beat the shit out of me. Uh, we, we're back up to 11 shows. I don't know why that's happening. Um, usually there's 10 shows for, or uh, 10 segments available for weekly television shows. I don't know why it's all of a sudden moved to 11. But it's created an extra segment that I did not account for. Uh, next up, we have FTR vs. Men of the Year for the ROH Tag Team Titles. Where are you? There we go. Uh, forced to Retreat, After Match Attack. Let's do where's forced to retreat? Oh, I already ran forced to retreat. Shit. Uh okay, let's do fight tees. Let's do fight tees. Um That's our last title feud on the show. So we got Buddy Matthews versus John Silver. I do not see this feud. There it is. It's way down there. Alright. We have done Fight Tees, Forced to Retreat. So let's do a tense pull apart. Uh, Thunder Rosa versus Mar Mercedes Martinez. This is another one where we've had the double feud that, that created. And I don't know. So we got to make sure we pick the right one. Uh, we've done Standing Tall. I would like to do unlikely partners. Uh, Samoa Joe versus Swerve. This is a pretty hot feud. Uh, 
Probo ambush, after match attack, surprise attack, Ted's pull out to Earth. Um, let's maybe do like a contract signing. Where the hell's it at? There we go. I don't know why I couldn't find it. We'll do a contract signing between the two of them. Signing on for a match. Uh, Jungle Boy versus Luchasaurus. That's been a pretty hot feud. Uh, back to available. What have we had? We've had a surprise attack and a promo ambush. Um, I would like to do force to retreat. Have I run it yet? Nope. Okay, let's do force to retreat. All right, next up is Andrade versus Max Caster. This feud was an effort to get Max Caster over. It's worked. Uh, we've had a tense pull apart, after match save, and a backstage attack. How about a promo battle? That's one I haven't used very often. Orange Cassidy and Brody King. Orange Cassidy and Brody King. Uh, this is, I think, been Brody King just beating them up so far. Yeah. Uh, After match save. Is that available? Yep. Okay. And Maki Ito versus Candice LeRae is the last scheduled segment for this show. Maki Ito versus Candice LeRae. We've done interview tack. We've done Masked Attacker. Uh, we've already done Ted's Pull Apart. We have not done Standing Tall on this sh show. So let's do that. Standing Tall. And I might just pick another segment from one of my main events to push maybe... Uh, Maybe the CM Punk Will Osprey. Let's do a fight. To open the show. Okay. And it's 100% effective. A camera crew is live with a fight between Will Ospreay and CM Punk. They went through an intense brawl outside the local graveyard. Hot segment. So just throw that into the show because we had an extra spot. Worked. Uh, Candice LeRae and Maki Ito are talking to each other in the ring. It's getting hostile. Um... Uh, Shit, I got distracted. Standing tall. I want Candice LeRae standing tall. Uh, they start brawling. Candice LeRae gets the upper hand and hits her finisher on Maki Ito standing tall. Uh, after match save. The match is over. Brody King is attacking his opponent when Orange Cassidy's music hits. Orange Cassidy charges down to the ring as Brody King retreats. 90% effective. A promo battle between K 
Caster and Andrade is 90% effective. Uh, Max Caster and Andrade are a lower in the ring with mics in the hand. Uh, they criticize each other's ability to wrestle. That wasn't a great segment. Uh, forced to retreat. We want Jungle Boy forcing Luchasaurus to retreat. 90% effective. Uh, Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy are in the ring talking. They say some insulting things to each other. A fight breaks out. Jungle Boy has Luchasaurus ready for his finisher, but Luchasaurus is able to escape from the ring. Uh, contract signing. Uh, we want Swerve. 100% effective. Swerve Strickland and Samoa Joe are sitting across the table in the ring with a contract between them. They both sign the contract and go for a handshake, but Swerve strikes Samoa Joe before putting him through the table. Alright, that's a hot feud. Very, very nice. Very nice. Hot feud. Uh, unlikely partners. Mercedes, Mercedes, and Thunder Rosa are fighting against each other here as the owner comes out to stop them. The owner makes them partners in a tag match. They almost have the match won when Thunder Rosa turns on Mercedes Martinez, and they end up losing the match. 100% effective. Uh, tents pull apart. 100% effective. John Silver and Buddy Matthews are out talking in the ring. Things are getting intense between them. They start fighting. Officials run in to pull them apart, but they can't. They can barely maintain the two. So the sh the show's going well. Uh, we haven't had a lot of updates, but we're moving the the feuds along. Uh, fight tease. Uh, it's going to be men of the year teasing the fight. 100% effective. Men of the year and FTR are talking in the ring. Tensions are getting high. Men of the year tease a fight, but back out of the ring in the last minute. No updates. Uh, backstage confrontation. Anna Jay is going to confront Tony Storm. We are backstage for a scheduled interview. Tony Storm is talking to the interviewer when Anna Jay interrupts her. They get aggressive with each other before officials come in between. Is it a hot segment? It is not. A surprise attack. Uh, Daniel Garcia is going to be the attacker. 100% effective. We're in the ring, waiting to hear from a superstar. Rocky Romero is talking on the mic when Daniel Garcia sneaks in from behind to attack him. Daniel Garcia beats down Rocky Romero and leaves him laying in the ring. And that is how the show ends. A solid show, not spectacular. Uh, we are already almost at 50 minutes. Probably about 50 minutes to go. If I'm going to get all the way through the pay-per-view, so what I might actually do is go ahead and pause this here. This is going to be episode two. Uh, when I come back, I'll do episode three and get us to the pay-per-view. Uh, another strong show. We're closing in on WWE once again. Rampage is catching main event, and there's nobody close to us. Uh, yeah, so we have, we have four shows, uh, Ring of Honor, Dynamite, Rampage, and Ring of Honor again. Um, uh, so four shows, and then the fifth would be the pay-per-view. We'll go ahead and do that next time. That's going to do it for episode two. We moved this along, setting up our, our feud, setting up our pay-per-view. Hope you enjoyed. Talk to you soon.